Get Connected with Jim Browdy and Leslie Gatiss. This is Wired Live. Good afternoon. Welcome to Wired. I am Jim Browdy. I'm Leslie Gatiss, and today we're going to show you you can never be too young to make a difference. To prove it, we're going to meet a 22-year-old who leaves this Friday for a four-month, 11-country tour of the world. The point? To profile young change makers in their communities in the hopes of inspiring others. His name is Kyle Taylor, and he's leading the Dream It, Do It World Tour, sponsored by the organization Youth Venture, and he's going to document the whole trip online. With him is our other guest is known as a Youth Venture champion. She's a local elementary school librarian. Catherine helps recruit youth venturers like Kyle and supports them on their quest for social change. We'll meet both of them coming up in a few minutes, talk about this ambitious journey, how you can get involved if you're interested. We're joined by a guest this afternoon, youth venturer Kyle Taylor, recently graduated summa cum laude, I didn't do that, from American University, youth venture champion Catherine Lyon, who's an elementary school librarian in Shirley, Massachusetts. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thanks for having us. So can I admit up front, I never heard of youth venture. I am totally embarrassed. Mea culpa, what is it? Youth Venture is a, an organization that's about giving young people the means to lead and launch their own lasting social venture. So it's more than just community service, it's actually coming up with an idea on how to solve a problem and then getting the means from YV and the support to go out and do it. And we really just want to keep uh, pursuing that and pushing that and empowering more and more people. All right, there's some criteria. You have to come up with an idea, create an official plan, right? And then who okays that? Yeah, well, what, they, what the young people do is they come up with their own plan, and they have an ally or a mentor who helps them work through it and includes a budget, volunteers, um, structure, who's in charge. Uh, and then they, they send it to YV, and YV reviews it and essentially helps them work through it. So it's not the type of thing where, oh, it's not complete you know, chuck it out. It's about actually helping them through the process. And then they go to a panel, they get to do interviews and get the whole experience, and then they get the, fu excuse me, the funding and the support, so. I took your breath away. Now, uh, <laughs> you are a champion, youth venture champion. What does that mean? Um, what we have is a unique situation in Massachusetts. Um, Shirley is actually partnered with the United Way Youth Venture and the Mount Wachusett's Community College. And they help fund a program for our school district. So we actually set the panels up within our school and with local townspeople. So what are some of the ventures? Um, the first one that we had over five years ago was called Kids at Play. And these groups of, this group of young ladies got together and said, our after school program needs some enhancement. And they've been running an art program for five years geared to the elementary school. Um, our most recent venture is called Skaters of Shirley. And we, Skaters of Shirley? Skaters of mm -hmm. Shirley, yeah. We had a um, group of kids that came in and the question was, you know, what needs to be changed? And they said, we're always getting in trouble with the police. Why? Because there's no place that we can legally skate. And well, the solution is, let's get a legal place to skate. And they're busy raising money so that that can happen. So Kyle Taylor, what was your first deal? What was your first venture? What got you started in this thing? Uh, I was actually a sophomore at American University in DC and um, volunteering with in schools. And I really saw a need for something that was more than someone who just came in and tutored. I wanted to create a situation where there were actually lasting mentors and also where the kids could have an experience at college. And so um, we tutored twice a week and then we concluded with a visit to campus in the spring semester where they got to take seminars and use our equipment and meet athletes and eat in the dining hall and get an idea of sort of what they were working towards and really give them some inspiration. So, what inspired you though? Why did you care? You know, I, w I went to school in Southern California in Anaheim in a, a really struggling school system and I barely made it out. And I watched as my sister and brother really struggled. Um, to fit and get the education they needed from my parents and that's sort of it, what instilled that sort of that need and that drive to help young people um, and then I, I, we read a book called Savage Inequalities by Jonathan John Kozel. Massachusetts guy. Exactly and he spoke at AU and that was our freshman reading and I was just like this is this is my calling I have to go do something about this so that's what really pushed me to, to um, pursue it. Do you, barely, you believe you barely made it out of school? No. I don't. Or this is an overachiever here. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. Uh, so do you have to have a group? Is it a team kind of a thing? Or do you do this by yourself? Yeah, it's all about teams. So there have to be at least two people on a venture team. And the idea there is that they're really collaborating, working together, sharing ideas, and learning how to be a part of a team. And also so that there's more support. So it's more than just one person. And where's the oversight come from? Because you're getting some money, right? So right. How do we know you're not buying video? <laughs> <laughs> well, each team has an ally, which is an, an adult who sort of 
of helps mentor them through the process. And then Youth Venture checks in and keeps up, on, uh, keeps up with them. And really what we're doing now is trying to build a global movement and a global fellowship of these young people so that they have that support and constant sort of focus in the years to come. You know, this is almost too good to be true. There was a recent article, I don't know if it was the Globe or the New York Times, saying a lot of young uh, high school kids mm -hmm. are volunteering not because they care about volunteering, but because they think it's going to pump their resume, get them into a better college. What's your experience been? What motivates kids in Shirley to do these wonderful things? Is it the thing itself? Is it sort of this notion it'll help me? What gets them going? No, it, it's all about um, to have someone ask you what's wrong with your community. That is so empowering. Um, we, don't, we don't ask youth that often enough. Um, and once they ab are able to look at what's wrong and begin to realize that they have solutions, it, it's wonderful. Do most of the groups go on to do another venture or do they stick with one thing or do they branch out? Um, we've been lucky and surely we're working on our second and third venture teams now. So we have a gentleman who started a literary magazine and um, after that, he was, um, his financial abilities are tremendous. So the skaters of Shirley hooked up with him to ask them to help them write their budget. And from that, <laughs> yeah, from that he um, noticed that our elementary school does not have a student newspaper. So he is working now with elementary students to write their budget so they can get a newspaper going. And are these high school kids or, because you were in college. Yeah, I was in college. Um, we started as young as 12, 12 to 20 usually. And then if students go to an, an MTVU school, they can they can apply until they're 22. What does that um, mean? What is an MTV? U as in the letter U? or Yeah, U's? MTV University. Oh, university. It's a special okay. university channel. Yeah. And so MTVU is a um, partner of Youth Ventures, and they work with us in MTVU schools to boost funding opportunities and outreach to really get you know college age kids involved in these types of things. So, but I mean, there really are stories of, of people as young as 12 years old um, one of our most successful ventures, um, her name is Becca, and um, she started an organization called No Boundaries because her four-year-old neighbor said, you know, she said, what do you want to do and Be when you grow up? And Becca said, oh, I want to be an astronaut. And this little four-year-old said, oh, you can't do that. That's for boys. <laughs> That was not okay with Becca. <laughs> she was not all right with that. So she started a venture where she was actually taking young girls and doing summer camps, after school programs in science, math, um, bugs, all things that are usually boys. You mm -hmm. know, and she's 14 now, started when she was 12. And what's this deal? You're going around the world for all intents and purposes. Starting May 11th, is that right? Yeah, I leave Friday, Couple of days. actually. And what's, where are you going and why are you going? Well, um, we've been empowering young people for 10 years in the US. And now we're about building it at a global level with a global action website. And so I'll be leaving on Friday. Actually, Boston is my first stop on the tour. I'm doing our United Way Youth Venture event tomorrow in Gardner, Massachusetts. We're going to have 100 ventures. And then I'll leave Friday um, and head to Argentina and uh, travel to 11 countries, blogging, filming video, taking pi pictures of these young people in action, helping their communities. What's the website where people can track your progress as you go around? The whole trip's online at www.genv.net. G-E-N-V. Can you put that map up again? I don't believe this. <laughs> can we just see the map one yeah, more time? It's Argentina, Brazil, it's France, Belgium, Germany, South, South Africa, India, Thailand, and Mexico. And then. Uh, four or five cities across the U.S. to speak at colleges about um, in September to students who we really want to engage in this and tell these stories. How many languages do you speak, Kyle? Uh, I speak three. <laughs> of course you do. Only three. <laughs> And this was your idea. It was my idea, actually. Um, I was a venture when I was 19, and then after I graduated school, I was still involved with Youth Venture. And they said, at a, at a forum, they said, this is not just about Youth Venture. This is about building a global movement of young people who are taking action. And I had never thought about it that way. And I thought, well, a movement needs something that catalyzes it. And it needs a person that they can connect to. So I, I want to really be that voice and that person that other young people can connect to um, and relate to the issues. And what so, happens when you age out? We're all in real trouble, aren't we? <laughs> what do we do here? Oh my God. We got to take a break. We're with this guy who almost didn't get out of high school, right? Uh, and a librarian from Shirley. Want to take a break? We'll take all your calls. Delta, you want to figure out how you can do it? Talk to them about what other people are doing. 617 244 3344.